everyone, I'm Drew, I'm that frog guy, and we're coming at you from the reptile room with a new reptile room video, and I'm just cleaning the glass, and look who's out. Uh, one of the salamanders, I haven't seen them in a long time, but uh, we'll uh, do the rest of the tour here in a second. Oh. We'll see you guys soon. Our tour from the corner, um, here we got one of the Dendrobates Tinctoris Powder Blues and there we have the other one. That is Taddeus and that's Tatalina. You can kind of tell they're slightly different. Taddeus has bigger back legs and Tatalina is a little smaller bodied. Um, they are in a 20 gallon high aquarium. I've added a couple more lights to help uh, illuminate said tank and it's starting to look pretty good again. I got some underbrush growth. It looks it's very compact. I need to do some trimming, but I kind of like it this way a little bit too. Um, but they're in a 20 gallon hex that we did on the channel. You guys can take a look at that video if you want to. Just, uh, I think it's a 20 gallon hex build. Um, but we'll jump over to the next set of tanks. We got the toads here. They're uh, in a 10 gallon tank, and they are, I believe, central US toads. Um, the other one's down here. This one's named Little Foot, if it'll focus right behind the dirty spot I didn't clean. Um, they've been with us since last spring, so that's been pretty cool. Um, over here we just have a small little one gallon setup here, a um, little vivarium, nothing really major going on. Ignore the tidy cat's yellow bucket, that's getting too much reflection in the tank. Um, one of these days I'll invest in a black cloth to hide behind me so I can do this filming either. We'll jump up to Babe's tank, I just cleaned the glass. Babe is a Dendrobates tinctoris azurius. As you can see, the azurish color really stands out. Um, he's in a 10 gallon planted vivarium. Obviously with the missing system, we got a little pond here. It does have a cherry shrimp. You can kind of see the color red there. Um, I like putting cherry shrimp in a lot of my tanks because it's because they add a little something to the water. And um, we'll jump over to this tank. This is our Rantiomea Intimidator Intermedius tank with Mulder and Scully, but We'll see if we even see any of them today. They're always really good at hiding. We'll just kind of run around the side of the tank. Sometimes they're out and about, but generally they're they're hiding. Usually in their bromeliad up front. And I don't see any today. But uh, you've probably seen them in other videos, so I won't spend too much time. And we'll jump up to the Cuban frog tank, who does not have a name. He is in a 15 gallon high tank. Um, vivarium. It's still kind of growing in, so it's kind of it's starting to look. It looks a little ugly, but it'll get better. Um, he's hiding right behind the leaf there. Let's see if I get a better angle. Oop. Um, he is a Cuban frog or she, and they get much bigger than this. But we're going to be upgrading the tank slowly as we go. Um, over here we have the gray tree frog tank, and there's one up there. Uh, there's two little guys in here. Um, I don't know where the other one's at, but this is just another planted vivarium. And then, as you guys saw in, well, I may or may not include that at the beginning, but we got the, one of the salamanders out, the blue spotted salamanders in Ziggy's old 20 gallon tank, uh, vivarium. Sometimes the other one's out and about, but generally I only see the one, one at a time. Um, but that's pretty cool, I hardly ever see them out, so that's good news. Um, we'll jump down to get Drog's tank, the big old frog, just chilling. I need to feed him a little later. He needs some foods. Um, he's in a 10 gallon tank temporarily. He'll probably move upgrade to a 20 gallon eventually. Um, but we'll move over to the, the spring peeper tank here. As you can see there's one there. I just finally, for the first time ever, cleaned the front glass. Um, and then there's another spring peeper somewhere usually in here. I might have to switch out my LED bulb with one of these curly Q ones, complex fluorescent, which makes the lighting in here better, but um, it definitely wastes a little more electricity than I want it to. Uh, the other one's in there somewhere, but we'll jump up to Bee's tank as she's creeping away. Hey Bee, hey Bee. Bee's our painted turtle. Whoop, scaredy little cat she is. She's in a 20 gallon tank that needs. I need to upgrade the water level. It's kind of. Draining out. We lose so much humidity in this room every day. If I didn't have these misting systems, it'd be ridiculous. But Bia is just a painted turtle. 
um, hatched out of an egg, which is kind of cool. Um, we've, we got some live plants in here, and we got our UVB and heat bulb. UVB on this side, heat bulb on that side. Um, up in here we have the four tiny, 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 um, what are they called? Santa Isabella dart frogs. The phantasmals. They're in here somewhere. They're very brown. And, uh, I see them every day, but they don't like me. They always hide. Uh, maybe I'll just do a slow pan and maybe you guys can see one somewhere that I don't see. Uh, the camera will pick up different stuff. But yeah, they're in here somewhere. There's four of them. Um, they all morphed out eventually, which was really cool. I'm very happy about that. Um, but they are very hard to see. They were in the little grow container, but I kept they kept hopping out every time I tried to feed, feed them, so I was like, ah, we'll just put them in the larger tank and hopefully they'll be fine. Um, but we'll jump to this other dart frog tank since one's out. It's the last of the dart frogs. This is a um, erratus, a Hawaiian erratus. Um, and there's another one there. There's three of them in this tank. This is my largest vivarium that I have, and I still love how it's grown out. I need to start doing some trimming since it's starting to get a little overpacked, but. Winter time. I've been busy. You guys can see the other side. I love this side. It just looks it looks really natural, which I really like. And the other one's coming there. You can kind of see the two. Yeah, there's three of them in here totally. They are I haven't given them names yet. But we'll uh continue with the frogs over to the toads. And here we got some fire belly toads. Um, they are in this, well, this is my largest vivarium, but it's technically a polydarium. A lot of it's taken up with water. Um, as you guys can see, there's the greenest one of the bunch, if it'll autofocus. Boop. Um, they're, <laughs> like I said, they're very slow at changing color. I never thought they'd be that slow. But there's like 20 of them or so in here. Um, and he's finally starting to change colors. You gotta take an air. You gotta breathe some air. <laughs> there. Oh. There you go. Or maybe he hasn't figured it out. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll jump on to this next set of tanks. Um, these are just kind of quarantine slash feeding tanks. In here we have uh, our ghost shrimp for feeding Pennywise and some snails. Um, and below here we have a nice dirty, dirty, dirty tank. Um, this is where Bandit's at. Hey Bandit. Hey Bandit. Oh, I forgot. I have his mirror on there. He's probably freaking out for the last couple days. Bandit is a four-lined um, dom no, four domino. Four-lined damselfish. I'm gonna say dom domino. That's a type of damsel. Um, he has been with me for a while. He's actually five years old. I haven't had him that long. He was actually going to be food for my last frogfish, but he's got quite a personality and never got eaten. So he's uh, definitely the king of this little quarantine system, which we'll see what I do with that eventually. Um, we'll jump over to my next uh, mean fish. We got our um, orchid, not orchid dotty back. We got a neon dotty back here. Um, another really mean fish, and uh, the tank is getting covered in algae again. I just can never win with these tanks, but they're new. It's kind of what happens. Um, it'll eventually go away on its own. I'll have to do some more water changes, you know, that old drill. And this tank here was nice and clean for a while, but I uh, ended up moving one of the anemones in there since it was not doing well in the other tank, and it's doing pretty good in here. This tank is going to get an upgrade. Um, sooner than later, maybe I got a. I ended up getting a nice fluval tank at a um, a thrift shop that someone I got rid of for like twenty bucks, and I'm gonna upgrade this that one gallon tiny little thing to a two and a half gallon tank. Um, over here we have just kind of a holding tank, nothing really much in here, just some shrimp, and we got cherry shrimp in here as well. They're farming. Some back there. 
There's actually a lot in here, but they just don't really come out. And then we got Angry, make Angry Pants Chromium, the really, really stunningly beautiful. I just gotta take a picture of that. Yeah, he is just amazing looking. Um, we'll jump over to this tank. There's Floki's in here. He's up in the back. What you doing, Flokes? Sorry, you're scaring me. It made me think you were dead. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> he was just snapping, napping on the power the intake there. Um, they're both betas or betas. I, I I like the word beta more than beta. Um, so sorry for those beta freaks out there. Um, I'll probably always say betas. Um, but we'll move up to our mud minnow, who's right up front. This is E.T. Um, and there he goes. He does not like cameras at all. Um, it's kind of a, just a, he joined our family for no real reason. He's just kind of hung out and we've kept him alive and he's kind of got an interesting personality. Um, but we'll move away over to this tank since everybody's out. This is my other 20 gallon saltwater tank. We got some Vanguard Cardinals, got some Chromis. We got a uh, cleaner shrimp. We got a Blenny that is not happy about the Chromis going into his way. And then we had the other guy out and he just disappeared. Maybe he'll come out back out if I sit there he is. The little uh, pygmy wrasse. Come on out. Come on out. They're always afraid. But this is a little 20 gallon setup. I'm, it's starting to come back together a little bit. I had to buy a protein skimmer and made a little mini refugium. It's it's okay. And then down here, this tank is going to get changed up. So right now it's just kind of there. Then we have this tank where we have a bunch of black mollies. One lighter tail molly and then a bunch of neon tetras. And a bunch of zebra danios. Nothing major happening with this tank. I just added a couple more mollies because the male was kind of being mean to them all. And then we'll move over to Pennywise's tank. Um, as you guys can see, I did, just did a video on him, but there he is hanging out. Um, starfish in the back, big old snails are in the glass. Focus. Another one. Cleaning up. This tank is doing really well. As you guys saw, my Chato Morpha is getting so massive. Mr. Hermit Crab sitting there. Um, but yeah, everything's growing great in this tank, and I'm very happy on that tank. Um, we'll move our way over to this rack. In here somewhere is, besides snails, is a frog. <laughs> this frog poops so much that these snails have proliferated and proliferated and proliferated to eat his poop. There he is. He's an African clawed, clawed frog called Freddy. But they've proliferated so much, it's ridiculous how many there is in there. I just can't believe it. Um, and they just keep reproducing because oh, there's the big big one on the glass there. Um, then we got down here was going to be a Pac-Man frog tank, but I don't know when I'll get one of those, so it might just stay empty for a while. And then we got um, Alfredo down here. He is a what kind of ball python. He is a albino ball python. Um, I missed my flogging machine's not working. Um, then up here we have Khaleesi, mother of dragons. She is a bearded dragon, a big one at that. And then in here we have Cersei, um, whose nose is sticking right there. Her little snoot. Um, this She's in a 40 gallon uh, Zoomed. This one's also another 40 gallon Zoomed. And that one down there is a 20 gallon Zoomed, just like our little Medusa here, who's growing quite a bit, as you guys can see, since the last video. Hey, Medusa. Hey, Deuces. Hey, Deuces. Hey, Deuces. You just ate two pinkies. You still hungry? Still hungry? <laughs> uh, and then the last tank today is Casey's tank. I'll get a picture of this, what he is. He is a... Uh, Cordillus tropo, tropo I can't say it. 
East African spiny-tailed lizard, and he has in that tunnel. But you maybe you could see his tail back there. Yeah, there's his tail sticking out of the log. He is never out on camera when I want him to be. Just kind of hilarious. But she is. She just hears my voice. Oh, I guess there's one more tank. Tortellini. Lini, you sleeping? Lini is a African spur-thighed tortoise who is getting really big. Getting really big. Look at bigger than my hand. Bigger, bigger than my hand. Look how big he is. Hey, Lini. I know you want to sleep, but you sleep all day, all day and all night. Come on out, say hello. I'll leave you alone, Tortellini. I know you don't like cameras in your face. But yeah, that is the Reptile Room Tour this time, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, if you guys want to see more content of different things, let me know in the comments down below. If you have a name for the Cuban Tree Frog, please comment down below if you have names for those four guys that we didn't see, or these three guys we didn't see, or... I guess everybody else has names. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any good ideas, um, I'm going to change some stuff up around in this room fairly soon. We're going to add some humid hide boxes. I just need to finish cutting them apart and getting them ready for these snakes because they just do not like how not humid it is down in this, how dry it is down here. But yeah, um, there's a good picture. Hey, babe. So yeah, like subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next time.